Slay Water the Giant Geodude! Also, what was that Geodude's name? Sicken. Sissim. What's it backwards? Bisis? Bisis. I was almost like, is that bicep backwards? It's plural biceps, totally. Bice. Bi bicep oh my fucking bicep. god. Hold on for a second. What? Our whooper is whoop. Yeah. Its fucking name is Whoopsie! <laughs> oh boy. No, it's Poozy backwards. <laughs> no, it's Whoopsie! If you change the whoop backwards, sort of. You, you see it, right? I Kinda. It's an anagram. Or, I think that's the word. That's yeah. not an anagram. <laughs> yeah, it's totally the word. Yeah, it's just oh like an anagram, you know? Wait, uh, is that actually an anagram? I believe that no. is what an anagram is. Isn't an anagram like... There's an anagram where, like, each letter stands for a different word. That's what I thought it was. I think you're thinking of a mammogram. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> that is very different. Uh, the abbreviation. Okay, yeah, abbreviation is what that is, I think. It is definitely not an abbreviation. <laughs> Abbreviations are making it short. Oh, boy. It, okay, so it is an anagram. Ha! Alright, yeah, I'm just done. Uh, I was right. Oh, okay. And I didn't even believe in myself. <laughs> oh, wait, right. Abbreviation. Just, you don't need to go that far, but alright. <laughs> all I just wanted to say was, oh, uh, just fucking anagram abbreviation. You don't have to be like, I don't believe in myself to fucking know this. No. Now you're fucking rubbing it in your face with more lethal league, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this fucking dork over here is actually good at Lethal League. <laughs> Mother of a fuck. The best part is I don't even think Lethal League and this episode are gonna come out, like, near it all at the same time. Oh, oh boy. I'm pretty sure. Or not. Coughing! What is it named? Well, I guess Dingy. that dates when this episode comes out. Jebity Jed is actually kind of hilariously good at certain games. Uh, yeah. This is a guy who has like 100% completion in Binding of Isaac and um, uh, Rogue Legacy. <laughs> he completed Rogue Legacy? He completed Rogue Legacy. Why would you do that? I don't know. I don't know, but I got to like NG plus like... I don't even know, and like, I just got to the point where every enemy instantly killed me no matter what, and I was just like, okay, maybe it's time to stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wasn't it Bless like you. New Game Plus Bless 7 you. or something like that? I don't know. Bless you. Maybe it was like New Game Plus 20. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Now question, are you interested in Dead Cell at all? Um, never heard- well, I think I've heard of it, but I have no idea what it is. Oh, it's a, it's a new roguelike. Yeah. It's an early yeah. access that's pretty nice. I've been meaning to pick it up myself, but I haven't found it on sale, at, like, at all. Ooh. Rob, would you be able to describe it better than me, or...? Uh... I've got my internet open, so why don't I just look that up? <laughs> Alright, in the meantime, we're gonna kill more things in the dark cave. Dead Cells, roguelite metroidvania with some souls-like combat. Oh uh, yeah, I don't remember seeing this game. That description makes me want to shoot myself. Yeah. Ugh. People are so bad at talking. <laughs> Just in general. Beated want? What? Beated want. Beated you, want. you beated want. Now there is no more want. What no. the fuck is this? Hold on, I'm Yay! curious now. <laughs> Congratulations, Nick Nova, you're a Buddhist now. <laughs> <laughs> no, not again. It's not again. You were a Buddhist before. <laughs> Beaded. What? Beaded. Beaded. Whip enemy with tail? Beaded. Oh, wait, I think you're looking at his whoops moves right now. I know, but it's like, what is this? I think it might be slam, maybe? No, I think. It's mm -hmm. either that or tail whip. Well, he already has tail whip. That's what um, oh. <laughs> that move is. That other move. 
Dead Cells is a roguelike Metroidvania action platformer. You're able to explore a sprawling, ever-changing castle, assuming that you're able to fight your way past its keeper in a 2D Souls-like combat. As in... <laughs> no checkpoints, kill, die, learn, repeat. It's got a pretty nice art style. Um, some, some of it's a little wonky. Um, I don't know, it's pretty good. Neat. It's very easy for me to... Uh, be cynical about a lot of new games that are released because it's very easily to be cynical about the new games being released. Yeah. Like, it is incredibly easy to. I mean, I, I don't have the money for most of these games, and even if I did, I don't know if I would want it. <laughs> you know? I just went for everything to be on sale. I, I just uh, remember the, the most recent E3 as of this recording, there was only one game. I watched the entire show, and out of the entire show, I believe there were only two games that I was interested in, and one of them I stopped being interested in after I heard more about it after the show. Oh, oh God. God. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, what's that one that you're referring to now? Uh, it was Anthem. Oh, uh, yeah. Anthem? Bioware's just a fucking been a train wreck. Oh, no. What is, what is Anthem? So, Anthem is this game. So, from what I can tell, the plot of this game is that... Um, well, actually, I don't know a whole lot about the plot of the game, but... The setup of the game, rather, is that there's this big old walled-off city full of a bunch of weird eclectic characters, and you're a member of these group of people who are like, I don't know, maybe they're mercenaries or soldiers or something, who get into these mech suits and go out into the big old alien jungle outside, and you can, like, fly around and... The combat system was kind of interesting-looking, where it was almost this combination of, like, third-person action and, like, 3D MM action MMO style type thing. Hmm. It looked pretty interesting. And then it's just it stopped being interesting the more I learned about it. Um, <clears throat> what turned you off of it? General development stuff and the fact that I, if I'm going to be bluntly honest, haven't really liked even Bioware's good output <laughs> uh, when I've tried it. Fair enough, honestly. So, yeah. Alright, just quick joke, because I've been waiting to say this. I don't th have you guys ever seen a rock before? Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah, I've seen a rock. Yeah. Look at that. that looks like a rock if I've ever seen one. <laughs> good, good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wet it all up now. With that flame. Mm -hmm. It's gonna hypnotize me, but I don't know what that really is doing to me, so yeah, it's dead now. It's well, whatever confusion. it is, you can be sure it's not hypnosis. <laughs> probably confusion. That could very easily well be it. Wow, this is a rich ass mime. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that's the only Fulpex we'll ever fucking see in this game. It's the only what we'll ever see? Oh, Fulpex, yeah. Oh, sorry, Rock. 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 Yes, Rock. Is As it? its name rock. is. <laughs> Sandro! Sure. I'm, I'm, Go I away! Mean, I think you mean San. My apologies. You concierge of names, you Even though I was being critical about it earlier. Isn't it connoisseur? Con concierge? <laughs> Concierge? <laughs> yeah. That's something completely different. Yeah, it's con connoisseur. Whatever the fuck it is, that's what I am! Oh boy. Now, isn't that what Bill is? No! <laughs> and maybe. Oh, does it like kill six billion demons? We're talking about the demiurges over here. It's con concierge, demiurge. <laughs> okay, I'm sure those are different things. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, probably. Shenshu actually might be very good against this next gym. Next gym is Bug! Whoa. Is... Oh boy. Even though we picked like the fucking easiest starter for this shit. I forget, doesn't like 
Uh, doesn't Bug resist ground, or is at least, like, neutral to it, or...? Yeah, Bug is resisting the ground, but I'm pretty sure Bug really can't do much to ground itself. It's a pretty neutral matchup. Mm-hmm. But Pokemon did a very interesting thing about difficulty scaling in this game that people never really thought about. It's really with the first two gyms. Your difficulty setting, uh, scaling in this game is based on who your first starter is. It's basically, let's say for the first game, we got a first detail who the first gym leaders are. Brock and Misty. Yeah, this guy. Um, Yid! Oh, it's a Yid! Yid. Go away! <laughs> so in the first gym of the first game, the yeah. starter was going to be hell on you if you picked fire. Yes. It was actually the first two gyms, and that was like hard mode. So if you picked Charmander, you were like, fucked. And easy mode was Bulbasaur because rock and water were... Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, grass could actually do some stuff, but it had some nastier matchups down the line. Yeah, but it generally had the bigger, better start of it. Yeah. Water was probably the best well off. It had a easy matchup on the first one, hard, uh, a normal matchup, and then a hard matchup, and then it just probably had a more smoother sailing. Didn't grass also gain experience faster or require less to evolve in the first one? Uh, I'm not sure about that, I don't but think that's true. Generally, bug is usually the one that's associated with quick leveling up. Oh yeah, that's right. Because it's usually bugs are like the early stage wonders huh? of we're gonna do all the work early, but we won't be late game problem. Ah, we won't be late game threats. Mm -hmm. You know, unless you actually build your bug good. Yes. And even then, bugs that can be built good are pretty rare. 